In today's video, we're going to look at the different types of number sequences, and we'll see how we can find out what the pattern in each of them is. Whenever you look at a sequence, like this one in the top left, the first thing you want to do is see what the difference between the terms is. For example, to get from 4 to 7, we'd have to add 3. So we could draw an arrow between the two of them with a plus 3 under it. Then to get from 7 to 10, we'd have to add another 3. And we do the same again to get to 13 and then to 16. So the pattern here is that we're adding 3 each time. For this next one, to get from 22 to 18, we subtract 4. And then to get from 18 to 14, we subtract another 4. And we have to do the same thing to get to 10, and then to get to 6. So the pattern for this sequence is that we're subtracting 4 each time. Sequences like these two, where we're adding or subtracting a certain amount each time, are called arithmetic sequences, and are generally pretty easy to spot, because they increase or decrease by exactly the same amount each time. The amount that they change by is called the common difference. So in this first sequence, the common difference is positive 3, whereas in the second one, the common difference is negative 4. So notice that instead of saying that 4 is being subtracted each time, we normally say that the common difference of negative 4 is being added each time. Now, these next two sequences on the right are what we call geometric sequences, which is where the numbers are being multiplied or divided by a certain amount each time. For example, if we look at this first one, we can see that to get from 3 to 6, we have to add 3. But to get from 6 to 12, we have to add 6. And to get to 24, we have to add 12. This means that the pattern can't be about adding or subtracting anything each time. So it's not an arithmetic sequence. To check if it's a geometric sequence, we need to instead see if it's being multiplied or divided by anything each time. To get from 3 to 6, we have to multiply the 3 by 2. And to get from 6 to 12, we have to multiply it by 2 again. So the pattern seems to be that we multiply it by 2 each time. And for geometric sequences, we call this value the common ratio, rather than the common difference. So for this example, we'd say the common ratio is 2. Whenever you're doing questions like this though, it's normally best to check at least the first four terms. And if you're not sure what a term is being multiplied by, you can just divide any term by its previous term. For example, to find the relationship between 12 and 24, we could just take the 24 and divide it by the 12, which is 2, just like we were expecting. So overall, this is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of 2. For this last one, we can again start off by checking what the difference between each of the terms is. So minus 18, minus 6, minus 2, and minus 2 thirds. So because it's changing by a different amount each time, we know it can't be an arithmetic sequence. So next, we need to check if it's a geometric sequence. To get from 27 to 9, we have to divide by 3. And to get from 9 to 3, we have to divide by 3 again. And then again to get to 1, and again to get to 1 third. So this is a geometric sequence, because we're dividing by the same amount each time. If we want to find the common ratio though, we need to find what number the terms are being multiplied by each time, not what number they're being divided by. If it's being divided by 3, then that's exactly the same thing as being multiplied by 1 over 3. So the common ratio is 1 third. Just like before though, we can check this by dividing any term in the sequence by its previous term. For example, we could divide the second term of 9 by the first term of 27. 
which indeed is one third. So this is a geometric sequence with a common ratio of one third. To quickly sum up this video, there are two main types of sequences. Arithmetic sequences, where a common difference is being added each time, and geometric sequences, where the terms are being multiplied by a common ratio each time. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.